Cyan seized Old Town during the Mexican-American War in 1846. Marines have been stationed at the Recruit Depot since 1921, when most of the buildings here front were constructed. These buildings, known as the Arcade, were designed by world-famous architect Bertram Goodhue. The Arcade is among 25 buildings that have qualified for inclusion on the National Register of Historic Places and are outstanding examples of Spanish colonial revival architecture. Since 1923, more than a million Marines have completed their recruit training here at the Marine Corps Recruit Depot San Diego, and since 1915 at the Marine Corps East Coast Recruit Training Depot at Paris Island, South Carolina. Regardless of where a Marine attended boot camp, you can rest assured that they received the toughest and most physically and mentally demanding recruit training offered anywhere in the world. Some individual techniques and methods may have evolved over the years, but the focus and adherence to our core values of honor, courage, and commitment are as strong today as any time in our history. Today, the Marines of Company E accept the responsibilities to safeguard this proud tradition as they step forward to join this rich heritage. Ahead of them lie bright futures that will no doubt add to the proud Marine legacy that they now rightfully claim as their own. Corporal Manny is a four-year-old full-blooded English Bulldog born in Fallbrook, California on July 9, 2018. He is named in honor of Sergeant Johnny R. Mamolito Sr., one of the original 29 Navajo code talkers who trained in the first all Navajo platoon here aboard the depot in 1942. Sergeant Mamolito helped create the code that the Navajos developed at Camp Elliott, now Marine Corps Air Station Miramar. He became an instructor teaching other Navajo Marines the Navajo code. Later, Sergeant Mamolito participated in the Battle of Iwo Jima, where a Marine signals officer stated, had it not been for the code talkers, we would have never taken Iwo Jima. Corporal Manning continues the tradition of a long line of Marine Corps Bulldog mascots dating back to 1921, when Brigadier General Smedley Butler appointed Sergeant Major Jiggs as the first Bulldog mascot for Marine Corps Barracks Quantico. He's being escorted by the Office of Communication Strategy and Operations, Corporal Max J. Noel. Spiritual development plays an important part in the making of a United States Marine. Lieutenant Commander Ulysses L. Ubalde, Chaplain Corps, United States Navy, will deliver the graduation prayer. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise. Let us pray. Father, we ask for your blessing on all Marines here and upon the departed who guard the streets of heaven. Today is a special day in the life of these new United States Marines. As they graduate, we pray that they will be strong and courageous, believing that you have called them and are always with them. We ask that they would be bold to stand for what is right, even if it means standing alone. Equip them for every purpose and journey you have in store so that they would live as mighty warriors in this life for your purposes. 
We pray that when they encounter various struggles and difficult times, when they experience loss and things don't go their way, that you would teach them greater perseverance through it all. Build deeper character, a strong faith, and use any hardship in their lives for ultimate good, turning it around for blessing instead. We ask for your powerful boldness and courage to face every challenge set before them with a confidence and peace that can only come from you. Raise up greatness within their lives, greatness in this generation. May they be willing to stand strong and true, passionate for you, believing that you have designed them for purpose and good works, which you have planned and prepared in advance for them to do. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord let his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. And may the Lord look upon you kindly and give you peace. Amen. Thank you. Please be seated. The Commanding General, Marine Corps Crew Depot, San Diego, welcomes you to what is a historic event in the life of a Marine. Their graduation from boot camp, approximately 40 weeks each year for the past 100 years, new Marines have departed San Diego for service with units of the Marine Corps around the globe. The primary mission of the Recruit Depot is to provide basic training to recruits enlisted west of the Mississippi, which represents approximately 51% of all applicants in the Marine Corps each year. The Depot is also home to recruiter school, and Drill Instructor School. All our efforts here are geared toward one end, producing America's finest fighting force, the United States Marines. This morning, Company E, 2nd Recruit Training Battalion, Recruit Training Regiment, will form and march in the parade. Following the pass and review, the graduating Marines will return front and center of the reviewing stand for final dismissal. The staff for today's parade is comprised of Marines from the Recruit Training Regiment. The Commander of Troops is Gunnery Sergeant Matthew R. Burns, Company First Sergeant, Company E, Second Recruit Training Battalion. The parade adjutant is Sergeant Kyle D. Stanich, Drill Instructor, Company E, Second Recruit Training Battalion, Recruit Training Regiment. The marching units are now being called to attention, and the adjutant's command, sound adjutant's call, will begin today's parade. Marching in today's parade are 467 of the graduating Marines from Company E. Among the 467 Marines are two Marines who displayed outstanding performances in two individually graded events. Private Jake R. Collins from Platoon 2115 is the Company High Shooter, scoring a 344 out of 350. Private First Class Eduardo Torres Martinez from Platoon 2115 is the most physically fit Marine scoring a 295 out of 300 on the physical fitness test and a 300 out of 300 on the combat fitness test. They will be receiving awards from the Marine Corps Association and Foundation. Present today is the Company Honor Graduates Recruiter, Sergeant Staff Sergeant Anthony Kessley. Also present is the Primary Marksmanship Instructor with a platoon high shooting average of 222 out of 250 for platoon 2111, Sergeant William R. Comerauer. Recruit training is comprised of subjects required to produce basic Marines who function effectively in garrison, are trained in rudimentary individual field and combat skills, and practice the personal and professional traits which distinguish them as Marines. Examples of these traits are Discipline The achievement of a state of discipline which assures respect for authority, instant and willing obedience to orders, and the self-reliance to maintain or improve those traits which exemplify a Marine. Military bearing. 
consistently demonstrating military presence and personal awareness, as well as the proper wearing and maintenance of uniforms. Esprit de Corps, acquiring the common spirit of the Marine Corps that inspires enthusiasm, devotion, pride, initiative, teamwork, aggressiveness, determination, moral courage, integrity, camaraderie, and the burning desire to work with and for others toward excellence and common goals. For 246 years, Marines have fought and won whenever and wherever the nation calls, in the harshest conditions, over the most brutal terrain, and against the most formidable enemies, Marines defend the ideals of freedom with grit and tenacity. Though battlefields change and capabilities evolve, history proves that true victory comes from the individual Marine with steel resolve, the drive to overcome any obstacle, and the warrior spirit to fight on against all odds. It takes that steadfast faithfulness, semper fidelis, to core, country, and each other that abounds throughout our storied legacy. Marines today remain in combat, or deployed throughout the world, confronting every challenge with courage, loyalty, and faithfulness. They are resolved to be most ready when the nation is least ready, to defend freedom anytime and anywhere, to stand ready to aid those devastated by natural disasters, to pay tribute to those who have forged our proud legacy, and to honor the families and loved ones who faithfully stand beside us. For the Marines of Company E, today marks the end of the 13-week recruit training cycle. They have marched countless miles at Camp Pendleton and on this parade deck, and have been trained, as are all Marines, as basic riflemen. In addition, due to an intensive physical training program, their strength and endurance have doubled since their arrival aboard the recruit depot. They are Marines, qualified to take their places in the ranks of the world's finest fighting organization. The platoons are now being aligned from left to right in order to get them into their exact positions for the parade. The next portion of the ceremony will be our national anthem. We welcome veterans and members of the armed forces to join us in rendering appropriate honors with a military salute. For guests who have not served in the military, it is proper etiquette during the national anthem to place their right hand over their hearts and for those in the audience wearing headgear to remove it. Will the guests please rise for the presentation of the colors.
ladies and gentlemen, our national anthem. Thank you. Please be seated. Following the command, Parade Rest, the Parade Adjutant will give the command sound off, which signals the band to parade forward of the assembled Marines while playing military marching music. Thank you. 
the parade adjutant now presents the assembled command to the commander of troops. At the command, officers center march. All unit commanders and guide on bearers march to the front and center of the formation. Historically, it was at this point that commanding officers would issue orders and instructions to the unit commanders. Following this, the unit leaders would face about, return to their units, and pass the information along to their Marines.
Throughout our nation's history, millions of men and women have earned the title United States Marine. Many who have helped shape our history join us here today. In keeping with the tradition of once a Marine, always a Marine, we would like to recognize them. At this time, those in the audience who have served as Marines, please rise. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for their dedicated service to Corps and country. Thank you. Please be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, the Battalion Commander for 2nd Recruit Training Battalion, Lieutenant Colonel James R. Smith. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of Brigadier General Jason L. Morris, the Commanding General of the Marine Corps Recruit Depot San Diego in the Western Recruiting Region, as well as on behalf of Colonel Joseph W. Jones, the Commanding Officer of the Recruit Training Regiment, welcome to the graduation of Company E. I'd like to begin today by recognizing a few groups vital to our mission accomplishment. First and foremost, to you, the friends and families of these new Marines. Thank you for your love and support on their journey to this momentous day. You laid the foundation which allowed them to take the initial steps towards becoming a Marine. Your love and support sustained them during their training here and will continue to be a source of strength in their new vocation. Welcome to the Marine Corps family. To the friends, excuse me, to the families of the Company E staff, seated to the right of the reviewing stand, no one knows more than you the time and dedication it takes to transform a civilian into a Marine. Sergeant Major and I are deeply grateful for your sacrifice and your support, which enables these drill instructors and officers to perform this critical task. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for the families of the Empire. I'd like to recognize today's parade reviewing official, Master Gunner Sergeant Chorus, whose impressive bio you will hear shortly and who currently serves as the training team chief of the 8th Marine Corps Recruiting District. Master Gunner Sergeant, it's an honor to have you. Thank you for joining us today. You know, making Marines is truly a team effort, and at the forefront of that effort are Marine recruiters stationed across this great country. These men and women work tirelessly to identify, educate, and inspire the next generation of Marines. This legion of recruiters is represented today by Staff Sergeant Kessley from recruiting substation Katy, Texas, who's responsible for guiding the company undergraduate, Lance Corporal Fuentes, into our core. Our other partner in this endeavor are the instructors at Weapons Field Training Battalion, who teach the critical combat skills necessary to fight and win in any climb and place. They are represented by Sergeant Colmerauer, the primary marksmanship instructor for the company's high shooter, Private Collins. Ladies and gentlemen, round of applause for our recruiters and our combat instructors. Well done, Marines. The last group I'd like to recognize certainly need no introduction, for everyone knows the distinct campaign cover of a legendary Marine Corps drill instructor. And from the moment your recruit arrives, there's a drill instructor with them 24 hours a day, seven days a week, tirelessly instilling the qualities and esprit de corps of a United States Marine and leaving an indelible mark on those they lead. Trust me, your Marine will never forget the name, the face, or that gentle, loving voice of their drill instructors. These Marines behind me are, on average, 19-year-old high school graduates, and three have college degrees. They come to us from every state and territory in the Western Recruiting Region and nine countries around the world, as far away as Vietnam, American Samoa, and Colombia. And when they raised their right hand and swore an oath to support and defend the Constitution of the United States, they differentiated themselves from 99% of their peers. Upon arrival here, these drill instructors forged them in the fires of martial discipline, honing their minds and their bodies in the mold of generations of Marines who have worn our cloth. They proved themselves capable of carrying heavy loads long distances over rugged, mountainous terrain with minimal food and sleep to be where they're needed, when they're needed, to accomplish any mission. Now you may have noticed some change in your new Marine. They stand a little taller, look a little leaner, sport an outstanding Marine Corps haircut. And moms and dads, I guarantee they know how to make their beds. But the truly important change is the one that has taken place within. For they've been immersed in our core values of honor, courage, and commitment. And by virtue of standing here today, 
they've embraced them as their own. And it is because of this, because of the journey they've undergone, because of the moral, mental, and physical development that they have displayed, that I am pleased to present 467 young men who can forever proudly claim the title United States Marine. And if you'd excuse me, I'd like to address the nation's newest Marines. Good morning, Marines. Sergeant Major and I are incredibly proud of you. We've watched you learn, strive, and grow these past months, and we are pleased to welcome you to our ranks. When you stood on our yellow footprints, you affirmed a commitment of selfless service to our Corps. These drill instructors fanned a flame inside of you, and now we trust you will keep it burning bright. You can be justifiably proud of what you've accomplished here. You earned your tan belt in our martial arts program. Some of you learned to swim for the first time in our water survival training, and many overcame a fear of heights on our obstacles in our confidence course. You learned weapons employment to deliver precision fires on targets of a staggering distance of 500 yards. And in a final test, you completed the grueling crucible where you displayed exemplary character, physical and mental toughness, the ability to decide, act, and communicate leadership, and a warfighter spirit. And every Marine, past and present, expects you to display those attributes in your future trials. And so having completed the most grueling recruit training on this globe, you stand ready to carry on our Marine Corps tradition as America's Naval Expeditionary Force in readiness. As you go forward on the next leg of your journey, I implore you, be safe, be smart, and make good decisions. Remember that Eagle Globe and Anchor pressed into the palm of your hand atop the Reaper represents 246 years of Marines who have come before you. You must always be worthy of that legacy and protect what you have earned. So on behalf of the Marines, sailors, and civilians here aboard Marine Corps Recruit Depot San Diego, let me offer you a traditional naval parting of fair winds and following seas. Congratulations, Marines. Semper Fidelis, welcome to the Corps. Now taking their position in the reviewing area is today's parade reviewing official, Master Gunnery Sergeant Andrew Corris, Training Team Chief, 8th Marine Corps District. He is accompanied by Sergeant Major Christy Valdez, Sergeant Major, 2nd Recruit Training Battalion. Master Gunners, E Corps Chief, 8th Marine Corps District. Master Gunnery Sergeant Corps enlisted in the United States Marine Corps in March 1993 and underwent recruit training at 1st Recruit Training Battalion, Charlie Company, Marine Corps Recruit Depot, San Diego, California. After completion of Marine Combat Training, he attended MOS School in Camp Lejeune, North Carolina. Upon graduation, he was designated an 0111 Administrative Specialist. Master Gunnery Sergeant Corps has served in a variety of challenging billets in numerous commands to include Canvassing Recruiter at Recruiting Substation DuPage South, Illinois Staff Non-Commissioned Officer in Charge at Recruiting Substation DuPage North, Illinois Instructor for the Basic Recruiter School, Marine Corps Recruiting School, San Diego, California Operations Chief for Recruiting Station, Chicago, 9th Marine Corps District Training Chief for the Western Recruiting Region and Chief Instructor at Marine Corps Recruiting School, Marine Corps Recruit Depot, San Diego, California. Master Gunnery Sergeant Corps currently serves as the Training Team Chief for the 8th Marine Corps District, Fort Worth, Texas. Master Gunnery Sergeant Corps' personal awards include the Meritorious Service Medal with three gold stars in lieu of fourth award, the Navy and Marine Corps Commendation Medal with two gold stars in lieu of third award, and the Navy and Marine Corps Achievement Medal with two gold stars in lieu of third award. 
Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Master Gunnery Sergeant Andrew Chorus. More than a million Marines have completed their recruit training here in the past 100 years and have departed San Diego for combat in conflicts around the world, including places whose names are immediately associated with Marine courage and dedication. Names such as Guadalcanal, Tarawa, Iwo Jima, Pusan, Inchon, Chosen Reservoir, Quezon, Way City, Lebanon. Grenada, Panama, Kuwait, Somalia, Fallujah, Ramadi, Marja, Sangen, and our most current operations worldwide. This parade deck is rich in history and tradition, and no Marine trained here ever forgets its sights and sounds.
2110, Senior Drill Instructor, Staff Sergeant, Xavier M. Tunstall. Platoon 2111, Senior Drill Instructor, Staff Sergeant Dylan K. Hashman. <laughs> the Regimental Color Guard is led by the Regimental Color Sergeant, Drill Instructor, Sergeant Parker Shortle. Series 2113, Chief Drill Instructor Staff Sergeant Juan M. Ramirez. <laughs> Platoon 2113, Senior Drill Instructor Staff Sergeant Carlos A. Nunez. Honor Platoon 2114, Senior Drill Instructor Staff Sergeant Joseph E. Silva. Platoon 2115, Senior Drill Instructor Sergeant Justin N. Hernandez. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, if you turn to page 21 of your graduation pamphlets, you will find the Marines Hymn. The Marines Hymn has a history dating back to 1859. It is a long-standing tradition for Marines to face the direction of the music and stand at attention when it is heard. It is now directed that all Marines present and who have served honorably, and ladies and gentlemen, you are all encouraged to join, sing the words of the first verse as Marine Band San Diego performs, Anchors Away, followed by the Marines hymn. Will the guests please rise? Be seated. The Marine Corps' uniqueness and strength as an elite fighting force is directly attributable to the magnificent efforts of the drill instructors and company officers who train and supervise the recruits. The distinct qualities of spirit and discipline 
the heart and soul of every Marine, have been developed, nurtured, and ingrained in recruits through their observance and relationship with their drill instructors and officers. Recruit training is the very foundation of the Corps. Each year, recruit training provides thousands of America's finest young men and women with the basic knowledge and skills and function in a profession characterized by its own set of high values and tough standards. The most important thing we do in the Marine Corps is make Marines. The individual Marine is the Corps. That is what we do here. For the Marines graduating today, the long, arduous journey of the last 13 weeks is but a small step into the future of the Marine Corps. As they prepare to fill the ranks of our Corps, they do so with unquestionable support for the high ideals and standards of the United States of America and the United States Marine Corps. Although Company E prepares for their final dismissal from boot camp today, their initial training is not over. Soon after graduation, they will report to the School of Infantry, Camp Pendleton, California, where they will continue to be trained to serve as an effective member of a Marine Rifle Squad. The intention this sort of training that every Marine undergoes is designed to instill the fundamental premise that every Marine is a rifleman. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, we would like to introduce to you the Marines responsible for ensuring the success of the difficult transition required to become a Marine. The company commander is Captain Garrick A. Buck. The company first sergeant is Gunnery Sergeant Matthew R. Burns. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in a round of applause for the company staff of Company E. The next portion of the ceremony will be the traditional function of retiring, the guidons. The guidons have been carried by the platoons throughout recruit training and are being retired to symbolize in the Marine Corps to carry such guidons, which identify the pride to each individual member. Note that the honor of carrying these guidons bestowed upon those Marines who displayed outstanding leadership qualities, motivation, and character, and were selected as the platoon honor graduates. The platoon honor graduates compete for the titles of series and company honor graduate. They are considered the top Marines graduating today and have demonstrated the highest potential for future leadership and responsibility in the Marine Corps.
The Guidons will now be returned to the drill instructors. Honor graduates will now be presented a plaque by the battalion commander, Lieutenant Colonel Smith, and the battalion sergeant major, Sergeant Major Valdez. Ladies and gentlemen, please hold your applause until all honor graduates have been recognized. The honor graduate for Platoon 2109 is Private First Class Joel J. Villarreal from New Braunfels, Texas. The honor graduate for Platoon 2110 and the series honor graduate is Private First Class Joel R. Fussell from Bal. The honor graduate for Platoon 2111 is Private First Class Karen L. Parks from St. Louis, Missouri. The honor graduate for Platoon 2113 is Private First Class Kevin Wynn from Houston, Texas. The honor graduate for Platoon 2114 and the company honor graduate is Lance Corporal Tomas A. Fuentes Malta from Katy, Texas. Lance Corporal Fuentes Malta is also the recipient of the Chesky Puller Award for his outstanding meritorious performance while in recruit training. And the honor graduate for Platoon 2115 is Private First Class Jensen L. Caleb from Round Rock, Texas. Ladies and gentlemen, the honor graduates of Company E.
dismiss the company. Aye, aye, sir. The company first, Sergeant, will now give the command to the senior drill instructors to dismiss their platoons. Needless to say, this will be the most welcome command they have received throughout recruit training. Senior drill instructor, dismiss your platoon! Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes today's ceremony.